Thank you for inviting Studio Z Photography to photograph your child at Kinder. This is a video to show you how to view and place an order via the online portal. If you have any questions after viewing this video, feel free to contact us by phone or email. Our details will be in the email sent to you upon registering for photos. Once your photos are ready, you will receive an email with a link that will direct you to your child's gallery. You will need to log into your account. But this is the page here. This is the account you have set up when registering for your child's photos. So enter your email address and your password that you set. If at any stage that you've forgotten your email, uh, your password, you can just click on the forgot password. And log in. Once you're in, you'll notice that the credit that you paid, uh, the registration fee that you paid will show up as a credit on the top left hand side. And um, click on the Find My Photos. And this is where you enter the password to view the gallery for your child. If you only have one child, it is just your mobile number. This is not our mobile number. This is just a test one that we're using as a demonstration. So do not call this number. If you have more than one child registered for a particular childcare, even if they're in the same class, then you'll need to append your mobile number with an alpha letter. So pretty much if you have um, two children, then you'll be your mobile number without spaces with an A. If you have then B for your second child, C for the third child, D for the fourth child, so forth. Once you enter that in, press enter, you'll be able to find your child gallery will show up. If you have any issues, uh, just check that you've uh, entered in the correct phone number without spaces, um, or you may have registered under your partner's mobile phone number, so type that in and give it a try. If you definitely can't find anything, contact us and let us know, and we'll look into that for you. So you'll see here, that's a link to the video, that's um, to the one you're watching. We also have a summary in text of how to order. It's a very short summary. Uh, the, this video is a lot more detailed. <clears throat> so when you scroll down further, you'll notice your gallery of your child. If you hover your mouse over any of the photos, you'll you see a menu pop up. So a little heart is a short listing favorites feature. So clicking on that actually doesn't add it to your cart. It just adds it a short list and it helps you select your favorite photos. If you uh, want to buy that particular photo, you click on a shopping cart, a list of all the available options for this particular photo will show up. I won't go through each what each particular package is. Um, I'll click into one and show you. We have pictures and descriptions of what it is. Uh, feel free to click into all of them first just to sort of see what's available. If you have um, further questions, contact us and I can go through each package with you and or explain specifically you know, what's included in, in a particular package if you're unsure. So click on back to the product list to give you that whole list again. So what I'll do as a sample is um, the 10 photo package here. <clears throat> and also if you need um, further clarification on what the extra options do, does, uh, feel free to contact us as well. So once you're happy with this particular package, we add that to cart. And you'll see a confirmation down the right hand side say so this is the package you're adding and then you'll see a button that says you know add this photo to the package <clears throat> so we'll add that so you'll see that now it was one of ten selected because you needed ten photos uh, to move between each photo you can either go on the left and right buttons that's on the side of the photos and add that to gallery and you'll notice after adding each photo, you can see there's a remove little icon on each of the photo there in case you want to change your mind. What you need to also be mindful of is you can't select other products until you've finished adding whatever collection you have. So this one, because I've selected a 10 photo package, I need to add all the photos to this package first before I can add any other products. So I'll quickly just um, browse through each one and also you know on the top right hand side on the little cross if you click on that 
you go back to the main screen and you can scroll faster to the photos that you want to add to that package, for example. So there's multiple ways of um, adding. I'm only doing the arrows just to make it a bit quicker. And then once you've added all the 10, you can see that this collection is complete. Uh, do a quick review of the photos that you want. So if you selected it, and if you're not happy with a particular photo, you can actually click on that to remove. So you see how now it says it's complete. You can't add any more to this particular collection. If I click remove on that one, it'll pop up again for me to add another photo to the selection. So let's just choose that one. Right, so that's done. But if you want to add, say, more photos to this, um, this order, click out of there and say I want to buy an enlargement of this particular photo here. So I'll click on the shopping cart. We've completed that. We go back to the product list here. That will show you all the available products for this photo. And just say I want an enlargement. So if you click on the enlargement, We've got a description here that shows you the difference between the sizes of the 5 by 7 all the way up to 16 by 20. Uh, if you're still not sure how large something is, contact us and we can try and um, give you a better idea of how large or whether a particular size is suitable. So let me add that particular print 16 by 20. So at this stage, you can just keep pressing the cross, get back, adding more photos, adding more packages to your order. Once you're done with um, all this, you can view my collection here, or if you're in the main gallery here, you can actually select the My Cart as well. That shows everything that's in your cart at the moment and any credits that you have in your account. At this stage, if you see a Remove button, what this Remove button does is it gets rid of that whole 10 photo album. So it doesn't get rid of one, it gets rid of that whole 10 photo. So be careful about that, that Remove. Um, but for this one, remove, because we've only got one print, that removes just that print there if that's not what you want in the in the cart. Worst case scenario, if you're unsure and there's things you don't want, you can do the empty cart and that just clears the whole cart so it's all empty. And once you're happy with what you've got in your cart, proceed to check out. You'll see the subtotal, that's excluding GST and then the GST component and whatever amount credit you have. And that would have all your details there. You'll be set for pickup at Kinder, and you can pay by a credit card. Our website is uh, fully secured, so um, you can pay knowing it's 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 been protected. You can also pay by PayPal if you wish to do so. And that's it for this quick tutorial. So if you have any other questions, feel free to call us or email us, and uh, we'll get back to you. Thank you.